Hey Dutch, I'm going to attempt to show you a way to get rid of some lip smacks using your SoundForge software. First of all, I'm going to crank the sound up and I hope you can hear this on this video recording. But listen to the lip smack that happens after this phrase. Install a new capsule into your air purifier. Okay, uh, air purifier click. Air purifier. Did you hear it? air purifier it's this little thing right here I'm gonna zoom in on it and you can see what it looks like I zoom in on it by using my up arrow key zoom in like that and you can see this little guy right here I'm gonna highlight him and um, the easiest way when it's right out here in the it's not in the middle of a word it's out kind of in the open the easiest way to get rid of that is to just highlight that little tick and hit your delete key and it's gone so now I'm gonna go back and play it again and it sounds like this purifier purifier you know that got out the vast majority of it that's how to get rid of the ones that are out in the open I think there's another one right here let's arrow on the cap do you hear it after cap cap click arrow on the cap okay so I'm gonna zoom in on this one I hope you can see this but okay there's a P and then the click and here's that little click you can see what it looks like I can make it bigger so you can see it uh, by holding the shift key hitting the up arrow key it makes it real big and you can see it very very clearly so I'm gonna select it here I'm gonna try to get it as close to where the line crossing is and I'm gonna hit the delete key and that's probably part of it too so I'm gonna take that out also and so now cap cap okay and now you're just left with cap without the click after it and if I want to go back down I hit the shift key and down arrow key and it makes the waves uh, wave file smaller and just the regular down arrow key zooms out. Zoom in is up arrow, zoom out is down arrow. Uh, now what happens if you have a click that's right in the middle of a word? And I have an example of that for you here. Will now release. Do you hear the click in, in the word now? Will now release. And so to get rid of a click in the word now, I'm going to go up to the word now and try to find the spot within the word where the click is. And you can experiment just by, you know, selecting a chunk of, of data. Now, now, now. You know, you know it's not here if you... Boom, boom, boom. It's not there. So select another one. And, and to select this, I'm just uh, using this default tool, which is this tool right up here. I hope you can see that. I'm, my cursor is pointing to it that little tool right there it gives you this kind of eye-shaped cursor and that's that's your standard normal tool that you'll use most of the time to select data and you uh, go to the spot you want to start at and you click on it and just drag to the right and that'll select a specific area so that's a real easy way to do that uh, so in this case I know that it's right in here somewhere now. Now, now, now. You can hear that click in there. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in really tight. And you see this kind of dark area right here? It's all scrunched in. I'm going to aim for that. Uh, so I set my, my uh, cursor there and clicked on it. And now I'm going to zoom in at that point. And notice how the, the waveform gets really tight little squiggles there all these are kind of loose and this one here is really tight and you see it's kind of tight and jagged that's what um, a little click sound looks like it's higher frequency uh, that's why you have higher frequency waves so what we're going to do is we're going to use the pencil tool which is right up here and which by the way that'll become available to you when you zoom, zoom in this much you have to zoom in a certain amount before the pencil tool will make itself available. So click on the pencil tool up here, and it, your cursor becomes a pencil, as you can see. And I'm going to click 
just before that little tight squiggle starts and I'm going to just draw this line and kind of complete the wave around like right to here or so and I drew a new wave. I'll, uh, if I don't like the way it looks I'll hit my control hold down control and hit Z and that'll undo it and I'll try it again so use my pencil tool and I'm dragging it up like this and down to connect and there you have it so now when I play the word now I'll bet you you won't hear a click anymore so here we go we'll now release a we'll now release a pleasant there's a tiny bit of it left but it's way less noticeable than what it was before so that's two ways to get rid of the, the mouth click sounds. I hope that helps you. Love you, brother. You're doing great. Keep it up. Take care, buddy.